O tema deste módulo é o rádio digital com o padrão do consórcio DRM. São nossos convidados para falar sobre esse tema, Ruxandra Obreja, que é chair do consórcio DRM, e Alexander Zin, que é vice-chair do consórcio e também gerente do Fraunhofer Institute. Olá, esta é a trilha de rádio do Set Experience Academy. Neste primeiro segmento, nós vamos ter uma visão geral do sistema e dos seus recursos de interatividade. Thank you very much, Marco, for the introduction and thank you uh, for having us again at SET. We thank SET Experience, we thank you, all the organizers and all the participants. And we hope that the information and the updates that we are giving today will be relevant to the participants. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Welcome to the Digital Radio Mondial presentation for uh, SET Experience. It's our second time we are here and we are very happy uh, to meet you all again and give you a really interesting, exciting update. I am Ruxandra Obreja, I'm the chair of the Digital Radio Mondial Consortium and I will uh, share this presentation with Alexander Tsi. But first of all, what is the Digital Radio Mondial Consortium? Uh, just remember, we are a not-for-profit organization with around 100 international members. We have experts and technologists, and some of them are from Brazil. We are open to all organizations, all members, and we have a lot of uh, platforms or groups or uh, I don't know, communities of experts in a lot of countries, including in Brazil, where we have a DRM platform. So you can write to us, connect to us. Who are our members? This is just a selection of them. Uh, you see there a lot of companies you know, others you don't know, uh, like CML Microcircuits, our latest member from the UK. Uh, you see Skyworks, which is uh, basically Scilabs from the United States. You see Radio Pulpit from South Africa, and uh, you see RF2 Digital from Korea, and so on and so forth, apart from uh, BBC, Panasonic, and so on. Uh, what we have done since we last met is to stress the benefits Uh, the great services that come through the DRM standard. And uh, to show them to you, uh, let us uh, share a little video we have prepared for you alone. Meet Arnett. He's one of about 25 million citizens of Integria, a country that might be a bit like yours. He works in the capital city, Digitalia, for an advertising company. Sadly, on its favorite radio station, only broadcasts in analog mode. So the sound quality is not good outside of the city. DRM Digital Radio Services will launch tomorrow. Please tune in then for a wide selection of new programming with superior audio quality and advanced features. Integria has been planning a transition from analog radio to DRM Digital Radio for the past few years. And tomorrow is the launch of the first digital DRM broadcasts. Arnett could order his DRM radio as the government has made millions of radios available to the public at reduced cost thanks to an international development grant. As the family wakes up, they remember it's digital radio launch day. Rose tunes into the morning show on their new DRM radio. Arnett leaves for work, switches on his car radio and is pleased to be one of the first to experience DRM digital radio. DRM radio provides high quality stereo sound, at least as good as FM, but unlike FM, it's not only restricted to the cities, but countrywide. Arnett loves disco music. Rose must go to her news agency office where she works as a journalist. She reminds Iris to do her schoolwork. Iris explains to Rose how the teacher will teach her lesson over digital radio today, using full interactive radio textbooks with pictures, diagrams and examples. 
They will be accessible on the radio screen using DRM's advanced interactive text service called Journaline. The DRM radio schooling service also includes homework. The answers to the questions will be broadcast tomorrow via DRM. Rose passes the new DRM public signage in the town centre. It's displaying a lot of information. Local news, prices, sports updates. These public notices are constantly updated. Rose's team has been asked to increase the amount of news reports generated for NR1 Radio now that the new digital radio channel is on air. The agency will increase output for current affairs, local culture, news and health issues as DRM Digital Radio is broadcasting three different programmes on a single frequency at any one time, along with text information accessible on the radio screen. This is a huge opportunity for Rose's agency. DRM technology also provides opportunities for public messages displayed on public screens. These are efficiently distributed via DRM's journal line service with varied text information and even graphics. Ideal for advertising too. Arnitz just secured a new deal to provide advertising to bus stops all over Integria using the DRM technology. Iris shows her parents the maths exercise she has done on her tablet, connected via local Wi-Fi to the DRM digital radio. All content is received via DRM digital radio, as mobile internet is not available in their home. Arnett, Rose and Iris are seen exploring all the new information options available with DRM digital radio. New stories, sports updates, weather forecasts, programme information, ads, all available at any time and even in multiple languages simultaneously. The next morning, Integria is ready to celebrate the National Festival of Lights when many people travel long distances to see their families. Today, Arnett, Rose and Iris are going to visit Rose's brother, Wren, who lives on the other side of the Great Forest. A car journey of several hours. This is an emergency warning. There has been an incident at the chemical plant in Chilago. Please check your screens for more information. Thankfully, DRM Digital Radio also provides the emergency warning functionality with audio, text and images also available on the receiver screen. Wren greets the family and asks about the journey. He was not alerted that there had been an incident at the chemical plant because the DRM emergency warning was only broadcast locally to receivers in the affected area. Wren has good news. He's just accepted a job at the new digital radio factory opened locally. They're manufacturing DRM radios in the country at reduced costs, thanks to a government grant. Wren and Rose call their parents to wish them a happy festival of lights and tell them the good news. The parents are proud, but have not yet heard of the DRM digital radio revolution, so the family summarises their experience. Up to three times more content choice, with your favourite stations enhancing their offerings tailored to additional audiences during special events or serving more languages. Universal coverage with FM quality sound and no fading or interference. Interactively accessible Journaline news service for text and pictures in multiple languages simultaneously and without any need for mobile internet or broadband infrastructure. Remote schooling, up-to-date public signage and localised emergency warning functionality and many more things besides. Well, that's fantastic, says Rose's mother. A truly new era for enjoying our beloved radio services. But there is one issue. With this DRM revolution, 
We'll now have to listen to Arnett's disco music loud and clear wherever we go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll have a chance to discuss some of the aspects of the video. Um, but uh, before that, just to remind you very uh, briefly that the Digital Radio Mondial standard is the only all band standard approved by ITU, uh, which enables uh, coverage in all bands in AM, FM, uh, lower FM, uh, for local, regional, national, and international uh, three audio services and multimedia instead of just one analog service. And uh, DRM allows for uh, upgrade, total control of the infrastructure, and all the details about DRM are internationally recognized, standardized, and uh, besides all this, uh, neither the uh, DRM consortium uh, nor uh, anyone else is controlling uh, DRM and no licenses are required. This is an open standard. Okay, just to remind you, uh, this is our general diagram. So DRM above 30 megahertz, below mega 30 megahertz and uh, on all VHF uh, bands, including the 76 uh, band, the lower band used in Brazil. The one thing to remember, one standard and the same key features and benefit throughout, whether it is for large coverage or very local coverage. Uh, key features, uh, I mentioned the three programs and one multimedia on one single frequency. Obviously, excellent audio quality, a lot of multimedia applications, and we'll give you the update on that. Good coverage uh, on SFN, single frequency network, which was demonstrated in Brazil as well. Uh, tuning by name and not frequency, and uh, extra services like emergency warning, very important, and others, which we will talk about a bit later. Uh, of course, the multimedia applications are very important. They make the difference between analog and digital. And uh, through DRM, you can have simple text messages or use the text-based information service supporting all receivers, um, triggering interactivity and geo-awareness. And this is called the journal line. Um, DRM also provides slideshow and service program information, traffic information. So uh, DRM has a whole host of services, benefits, and also add revenue opportunities. Now, let's concentrate a little bit about, uh, on, let's concentrate a little bit on the AM bands. These are medium, shortwave, and long. So uh, you see the circle here, one standard, the same benefits. Now, what are the characteristics? You know about all this, very important. In DRM AM, you get FM-like sound quality. No need to necessarily migrate uh, from medium wave to FM because in DRM, it all sounds the same. And uh, DRM offers worldwide spectrum compatibility either 9, 10, or 80, 20, very useful and very low content bit rate. And it is a very flexible system. You can play with the bits and the coverage. So you can get better audio or you can get better coverage. And you can do that yourself. Obrigado, Roxandra e Alexander. No próximo bloco, nós vamos discutir os aspectos técnicos e os testes realizados na Índia.